Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you are an HR professional or a business owner looking for an easy way to manage your team, you've come to the right place. Because in today's video, we are diving into factorial HR software, your all-in-one solution for payroll, attendance tracking, time off management, and more. We will walk you through the key features and show you how to maximize factorial HR for your business. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to basically go to the official website, which is going to be factorialhr.com. From here, you have two options on the top right corner. You can click the get a demo wherein you just have to provide your work email address. Okay. But I highly suggest you click the try for free option. From here, all I have to do is provide all the information needed. For example, number of employees, which is very important for factorial. Now I'm going to choose one out of 10. And then again, you have to provide your work email address. Or to simplify the process, you can continue using your Google or your Microsoft. And then once you've done that you should be forwarded to this next page wherein you have to click the start trial now button and then follow the on-screen instructions the last page is going to be check all that applies and click the continue button it takes a little while depending on your connection all right now, if by any chance you cannot access Factorial, you might want to use a VPN because sometimes Factorial has geo restriction to specific location or region. All I have to do is click the exit button and you will be forwarded to the main dashboard of Factorial. Now, again, it takes a little while depending. You want to make sure you have an active and stable internet connection. Now, the home page will give you a notification that you have seven days left in your all-in-one factorial trial of course you can upgrade any time if you wanted but the main thing here once you access the home page is that you would notice that factorial hr is a powerful all-in-one human resources software that helps businesses manage employees payroll time tracking and more as you can see it from here you have the clock in Teams, direct reports, public holidays, absences in your teams, events, and links. Now, on the left side is going to be the homepage wherein, if you click that, this is going to be the main dashboard where users can get an overview of all of these information. The inbox is going to be something like a centralized place for messages, notifications, pending approvals related to HR tasks such as time off, document approvals, and of course, shift changes you have the request and of course the notification here now the discover factorial right here is a section dedicated to learning more about factorial's feature features and a lot more now if you go down to the personal and employee management right here the uh u and B section that's going to be talking about all of the settings preferences for the user's account such as profile details right here all right personal notification performance all of these are going to be the personal information a section where employees can manage their own hr related activities including attendance tasks expenses and documents now let me go back to the attendance and time management because you can explore this on your own time. I want you to focus on the clock in because this is a section wherein it allows employees to clock in and out to track their working hours and attendance in real time. For example, I'm going to put in this section right here. All right, click on add. The drop down menu, there's going to be an ad. Say, for example, I'm going to be starting like this around 6 and nine start next day if you want to check that click the apply button all right and then here on the time off 
employees can request leaves, vacations, or sick days, and managers or supervisors can approve or reject requests. So, for example, we're going to add a time off, time of absence. Now, we're going to put in a reason here. For example, description is going to be this. Is it going to be half day, days, and date of register is going to be right, I don't know, like Wednesday, March 5th, or March 5th. You can also delegate substitute approver if you want. You can select it here, for example, um, Mabel. All right, click that and click on submit. All right. So we have that covered. Now on the tasks is a management system where employees can track assignments and deadlines and of course hr related to do's if you want to create a task right here let's say this we're gonna make it italized task name is gonna be how to due date if you want say uh march 7th this a friday you can drag and drop or click some file here and click on confirm it's very easy and it's straightforward. Now, the documents is the personal document storage space where employees can upload and access work-related files like contracts, payslips, and certifications. I'm going to do that right now. You can drag and drop files here or click on the upload file so you can locate that to your directory or your computer. Click that and you would be forwarded here. Click on next. Wait for it. And click the upload file. So we have that covered. Now, the next section is going to be the my training wherein employees can assign training programs, track progress, and learning materials. It also happened uh, to have your, your expenses right here, a section for submitting and tracking expense claims like, you know, travel cost or office supplies for reimbursement. If you were going to click this, for example, we're going to be um, putting in a regular expense. All right, you can drag and drop here to click. Skip this step if you want. All right, and you can select an employee. For example, we're going to be using um how to select a category. It's going to be like maybe internet. Vendor name is going to be this if you want. Currency is up to you, but for now, we're going to be living at, at USD. For example, that's going to be in this document date is going to be like around that was like i believe select payment option is it going to be reimbursable and you put in the some information for the description all right and then of course you can save it as a draft for now because it needs for approval now the last section is going to be about your company you have the organization wherein it shows the organizational chart department structures all right, employee roles within the company like Ivan, Mabel, and a lot more. So there's going to be a, the calendar right here. A shared calendar displays company events, employee time off, deadlines, and holidays. Now, in terms of the performance and engagement, it helps you track and manage employees. Performance review, if you want to click on the new review right here from scratch or use a template. We're going to choose a predefined templates for example a performance review like 180 click the create a view review right here it will be forwarded so that you can set goal settings and feedback all right in terms of the engagement it's a tool for measuring employee satisfaction conducting surveys and approving workplace engagement you can set it automatically every three months or monthly meeting or an annual um, thing you can click the launch button and you will be forwarded to then the next page wherein you can have a centralized platform for managing employee programs and professional development courses you will be forwarded to the next page it takes a little while again depending on your internet connection and your region specifically now it's up to you where you want to dive deep into some of the options here on the left side panel of your dashboard but one of the uh thing that i like is going to be the time tracking because it will allow employees to log their working hours right here to track over time and ensure complete payroll calculations you can also have options to send the reminders now the project is helps employees and managers track work progress on projects assign tasks if you want you have the project meant 
management tool for that to measure productivity and the analytics which is going to be providing reports and insights on employee attendance right here like performance payroll and hr trends if you want now the last is going to be some finance related stuff like tracks company expense budgets right here and tax deductions and of course benefits you could also ask some information from the factorial hr um, option now here in terms of the software it's gonna be um gonna be uh i'm gonna skip this for now because it's something that you want to um need some membership plan before you get this all right you choose automatic payments and cost tracking so we're gonna skip that but instead i want you to focus on the workflows because this can automate repetitive hr processes such as employee onboarding offboarding training and of course a custom workflow all right and again admins can configure system preferences access permissions under the settings and once you get familiarized and get a hold of factorial hr you would notice that it is a comprehensive tool that streamlines human resource management whether it's tracking time managing payroll or improving employee engagement this software helps business stay organized and efficient and if you want to get to know more about your plan since we're using the free trial which is seven days you would notice that the starter essentials is at $80 per month and you get to have all these the pro essential is 135 per month and again i suggest you talk with a sales professional before you dive into a big commitment try to take advantage of the seven days free trial familiarize yourself with the dashboard try it for yourself to see if the factorial hr aligns with your budget needs and goals and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one